Okay, here it is. All 12 mystery tackle boxes for 2023. Okay, 2023 has been quite a year. And now I'm going to go back through memory lane and reminisce about Mystery Tackle Box starting with January 2023. Here it is. 12 months ago almost. What could have been the best bait? in this box let's see i'm not gonna lie january was a pretty crappy month in my opinion junk 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 super junk this is definitely the worst bait by far, the 10,000 fish headhunter, a horrible bait. I have fished this both sizes. This is the smaller size, three and a quarter inch. I can't remember how big the bigger size is. They don't run right in the water. They don't really catch fish. It's supposed to be kind of a dark sleeper, knockoff, terrible bait. Of all these junk lures, which is the best bait? I guess I'll go with this. The Guggen Squad Banger Square Bill Crankbait. This is a sexy shad color. And it's decent overall. January, pretty crappy box. February. Oh man. <laughs> February may be worse than January. Oh my gosh. There are three horrible baits in here, I would say. The Guggen clickbait, horrible. The live target commotion shad, horrible. The 10,000 fish cyclo bait, terrible. This is my worst bait in the box, for sure. This thing's horrible. That's a close second. Trying to find a good one is practically impossible. I guess I'm going to have to go with the Weston Baits Bass Bite Square Bill. At least it's kind of a cool pattern. Best bait? Jeez, I know some of these boxes were good. I, I just can't believe that January and February were so bad. March, please be better. Okay. Junk. Pretty good. Very good. Okay, not bad. By far, worst bait in the box got to be the zero gravity jig. Terrible. Normally, I would always pick the jackhammer, but I'm not a big fan of the stealth blade. So, I got to give it to the Ima Suspending Vibe 70. This bad boy is the real deal. An awesome, awesome lure. Definitely the best bait for March. Okay, the first three months of the year have been a little depressing. This is April. Let's hope that April saves the day for us here. All right, more Guggen. The Guggen Squad Hound junk. The 10,000 Fish Zuki Bug. The Flutter Wings and Tickle Tail. That's actually not a bad bait. Baby Bullgill, very good. Actually, the spot on is good. Phoenix Archy Jig, okay. Well, let's do worst bait. Absolutely, this is the worst bait in the box, in my opinion. The Guggen Squad Hound walking bait. Terrible. In my opinion, it's been down to these two. Uh, normally, I would not give Weston Lures much uh, credit, but 
This spot on is a great topwater lure. Um, I've got a bunch of them and uh, they walk the dog great and the fish love them, the great fish catchers. This probably would be my number one bait if you didn't have this bad boy in here, but man, the baby bull gill, beautiful bait, the real deal. Great fish catching lure. This is ruby gill, an excellent bluegill color with some deep red in it. Really love the color, really love the action of this bait in the water. Man, the bass just cry. Lo absolutely love this bait. Definitely the best bait in the box. And for the first, first four months, this is the best lure of all four months, in my opinion. So overall, I would say January, February, March have been pretty disappointing. April, though, pretty darn good bucks. Mystery tackle box. Elite. Okay, what do we got here? Lunker hunt agent. Junk. Huh, okay. Interesting. Okay junk well interesting hmm but these are the two worst i would say normally i would say the lunker hunt bait is junk i'm i'm not i'm not interested in this at all but this is a spy bait and since it's a spy bait i am slightly intrigued so i'm going to have to say worst bait in the box this month is the Guggen Squad Blooper Popper, popping bait. Yep, that's the worst bait. And I think I'm going to have to give best bait to this Nomad Design Shikari Suspending Jerk Bait. I don't know. I kind of like the color pattern on it. I like the fact that it has BKK hooks. BKK hooks are premium good hooks for sure. And I'd say it's less about this being an awesome bait and more about the fact that there's no awesome bait in the box this month. Uh, they're just all average. And that's kind of part of the problem. Sometimes you won't get any great baits. You'll just get average to bad. And then sometimes you'll get uh, uh, more than one great baits. But this is probably the winner for May. Okay, we're halfway through the year. This is June. In this one. Okay, very good. Also good. Also good. Also good. What? Also good. Also good. Sample pack. Eh. Well, how bad could Lunker Hunt screw up a buzz bait? That's probably still good too. Thunderhawk. Not a bad swim jig either. So, holy cow. We may have hit the jackpot here, boys and girls. What am I going to do for worst bait? I think worst bait, I'm just going to go with the Lunker Hunt Turbine Buzz Bait just because Lunker Hunt's usually Lunker Junk. I hate to say it, but so many times they just, they are. But this, this is a real bait. This is the real deal boys and girls the yozuri pencil f just means it's a floating bait this is a top water plug and man it's a great lure great color pattern this color is called prism frog just an excellent excellent bait listen to it Everything about this is premium, high quality, superb. The Yozuri pencil is definitely the best bait in the box of June. Wow, June knocked it out of the park. Fantastic. <sighs> Sample hooks, golly, man. If you guys gotta be so cheap that you can't give us a five pack of real hooks. No, they can't, they never do frustrating i tell you what if every month were like this june box i would never cancel my subscription 
As you can see, we've gone through six months, and this is all, this is the only home run box the first six months out of the year, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, we had a couple other months that were pretty good, but here's what I'd say. First six months, one home run, two really good boxes, three mediocre average, two bad boxes. The first two months were almost what I would call bad boxes. Dang. That's brutal. I hope the last six months here are better. Okay. Very nice. Slide bait. Huh. Okay. Hmm, not bad. Well, newer. Okay. Worst bait. Worst bait in the box. What's it going to be? I'd probably say it's a tie between these two. But I probably would still pick the Bait Labs over the Mini Bumper. So I'm going to say the Guggen Mini Bumper Spinner Bait is the worst bait this month. So not terrible. Not a terrible box. These two are probably my two favorites. The Arc Z Swimmer. But hands down. If you're getting a glide bait in the box, even though it's, you know, a hard plastic glide bait, it's, uh, you know, probably made or manufactured in China, but it's still a glide bait. It's still, you know, a five inch swim bait, almost two ounces, slow sinking. Uh, if you're just getting started, you know, this would be a really nice bait to have. So for me, it's got to be. It's got to be this one here. Okay, not bad. Also not bad. Also pretty good. Frog fur headbanger. Oh me. I, I don't see any home run baits this month. But really not a bunch of bad baits. Again, I would say average box. For worst bait, I'm going to go with this Headbanger Topwater Lure. I am just not a fan of the Headbanger at all. This is called the Spitfire. And I may be prejudging it. You might, uh, you may have fished it and just think it's wonderful and prove me wrong. Great. But I'm still going to say that's probably my least favorite. And I think I'm just going to go with the Big Blade Chatter Bait. Best bait in my opinion, in this box. Okay, so July and August, I would say both decent boxes. But no home runs other than June. Will September do it? What will September bring? Not bad. Junk. Not bad. Junk. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Better. I am not going to pick the Headbanger as the worst bait uh, this month. It's got to be this Guggen Revolver in silverfish color. This is a Whopper Plopper knockoff. Just go get a Whopper Plopper. Just go get a Chapo. Do not buy this. Absolute junk. The flaw in this is that the propeller spins in front of the hooks it gets mixed up with the hooks a lot it uh it's just it's a bad design this is definitely the worst bait but best bait hmm, that's a little more difficult i do like the guggen uh swim jig the grass hero but i think i'm gonna have to go with a catch co bait as the best bait in the box this month it's the tightrope quarter ounce bite getter spinner bait. This is a little finesse spinner bait. I really like the color on this. This gold and white is really kind of cool. And uh, I like their tightrope products. I, I really do. So that color is called Gold Shiner. Not a lights out box, but not a bad box. So I think so far the last half of the year has been better than the first half was. But we're not done. We got to check out October. What will October bring? 
All right, well, right away, I really like this. It's one of my favorite soft plastics. This is a miniature little spy bait, sort of. Hmm. Hmm. But I would have to say this is the ultimate in frog fur. Terrible lure. The Weston Twin Turbo. Yeah. Not only is it the worst bait, it's a terrible color, too. So, best bait. <laughs> I'm not going to go with soft plastic, although the goat is just a fantastic bait. But I think I'm just going to have to go with the old Jinko Fishing Shinobi Shad. It's not a big package. It's not a big bait. And pretty loud color. But I like it. So for October, I'm going to have to say uh, a good box, not a great box. Again. All right, we only got two months left. November. All right, November. Junk. Good. Okay. Good. Fair. This, I think, is the worst bait in the box. The Lunker Hunt wire arm finesse spinner quarter ounce pre-rigged three inch not to say that it won't necessarily catch you fish this white ice color of the soft plastics i think is a good color to me though this zoner hunter uh, by major craft is a great uh, crankbait i've got a video where i talk about uh, really good alternatives to the wiggle wart and in my opinion this is one of the better ones uh, but I also really like this. The Thunderhawk Grunt Jig is a great little jig. And they give you a three-pack of little trailers to go with it. Little chunks. I love this little grunt jig. I think I'm going to go go for this as the best bait in the box. Okay, again, an okay box. Definitely does not blow me away by any means. We're down to the last box. December of 2023. This ends the year and it also ends my Mystery Tackle Box subscription. I have canceled it. I am done. This is the last. Hoorah. What's in this one? Okay. Headbanger. Frog fur, Acme blade bait, Kalen swim stalker jig, Guggen jerk bait, Junior scout, Jabberjaw, Guggen zinger, Weston shad t slim, and the rocker head frog fur. Worst bait's kind of a toss up, really. When I say worst bait, you know, I'm not always like, this is just a horrible bait. Some of them are, absolutely. I'm just saying, of the baits that are in the box, which is the best, which is the worst. I think for worst bait, I'm going to have to go with this headbanger combination. I really think that's probably the worst. All right, now for best bait, um, <clears throat> I did an unboxing of this a week or two ago. And several of my subscribers said, hey, these Acme guys, they're the real deal. They make really good blade baits. And uh, I don't fish a lot of blade baits. Um, you know, definitely don't do any ice fishing. Um, so I do not know it all. I'm not pretending that I do. So this V-Rod might be the best bait in the box. But because I've never used it, I'm going to set it aside. And then I'm going to say it's kind of a toss-up in my mind, between these two and the Guggen Zinger. And quite frankly, I have had the most luck on this. Uh, I think the Zinger is a great spinnerbait as far as spinnerbaits go. And this particular one, this bluegill color, is just lights out. It's awesome, especially if you're fishing uh, a fishery that has a ton of bluegill in it. This bad boy does work great. So this is going to be my best bait for December. Kind of disappointing, really. Uh, I will, I, I do think though that overall the last six months are better than the first six. And I'd say that last six months, there's probably 
four really decent boxes, one really bad one, and one okay one. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Hopefully it was fun and informative. If so, please subscribe to the channel. Smash that like button. I would just really appreciate the support. I hope you have a great holiday season. And if you're going to stick with the Mystery Tackle Box, I hope it brings you lots of happiness in 2024. And I will talk to you next time. This is Mr. Bass. Happy fishing!